I never wanted to make this video, but alas, here we are. On the 6th of February 2018, it was announced that after seven long and glorious years, Once Upon a Time would come to an end. Once Upon a Time has officially been cancelled and there is no pain quite like finding out your favourite show that you based your entire channel around has been cancelled. The show will end with season seven, but before everyone panic, the creators of Once Upon a Time, Adam and Eddie said in an interview that I'll link in the description that they planned for this. Because the future Once Upon a Time was so up in the air at the start of this season with the main cast leaving with the soft reboot and being moved to a Friday slot which is also known as the death slot which is where network put shows to sort of die because they don't get very good ratings on Fridays. Adam and Eddie planned two endings for season seven. One with a possible season eight where it could continue. I really want to know that the plot of season eight would have been because that would eat me alive and then also the ending we're gonna get which is an ending for the whole season seven plot but also an ending for the whole show and my hope is that ABC did give them enough time to properly plan out and write a good and just ending for once upon a time and thankfully in the interview Adam Nettie said that we will see happy endings for all the characters on the show because after all this show is about happy endings and if they didn't get happy endings would it really be once upon a time they also said that this ending isn't going to bring back the original curse of the saviour versus evil queen storyline. The first six seasons have been wrapped up at the end of season six. This finale is going to not just end the entire show but it's going to mainly focus on the season seven plot instead of going over old ground. But with that in mind they also confirmed that some old characters will be showing up again. And my current theory is that these characters that are going to come back are Snow, Charming, and Emma because what other characters would you honestly bring back to end Once Upon a Time and Adam did also give a big spoiler he said that everyone will get the happy endings and no one will die but I'm calling you bluff Adam and I think Rumpel's gonna die and not in a season three oh my god this is so upsetting he is just like been straight out murdered or killed himself no I think he is going to finally find a way to give up the dagger like he's been searching for all season seven I think he's gonna be able to give give up the darkness and his magic and the dagger and finally choose the light and then once he is removed from the dagger ending this line of dark ones I think that he will after hundreds and hundreds of years finally die and then after he dies he will go to the good place and in the afterlife he'll be reunited with Belle who previously died because I can't think of any other way for Rumpel to get a happy ending than to be reunited with Belle and there's no other way that I can see Rumpel be reunited with Belle than dying himself because on this show no one comes back to life unless Rumpelstiltskin or Hook. With that in mind I think we might get a small cameo from Belle but I don't think she'd be a main feature of the episode. And now looking at the rest of the characters season 7 I really do think that the main focus for the last few episodes and the big finale will be the characters we've known but I also think that their happy endings will also lead into the new characters happy endings. In the interview Adam and Eddie said that it's also the possibility of alternate happy endings which to me just screams the wish realm and wish hook. I think what we'll get is wish hook will get a happy ending separate to what our hook got. Once the curse breaks I think he will finally be reunited with Alice and maybe just maybe wish hook may find his true love because obviously wish hook and our hook are different people so it makes sense to have different true loves. But I think it'd be just as heartwarming and lovely for his happy ending and his true love just to be his daughter and now we just have Henry and Regina. After the curse breaks, after they find a way to not only save Henry's daughter but Henry himself and they break the curse, I can't think of another way for those two characters to get their happy endings other than going back to Storybrooke, going back to be with their family because I don't think Henry and Regina can properly get a happy ending without Emma Swan, Charming and Snow. Those two are big family players, why would they openly choose to have a happy ending where they're not in the Charming's lives. I think at the very end of the season we will see Henry and Regina and Jacinda and Henry's daughter all pack up and go back to Storybrooke. We'll see Snow, we'll see Charming, we might even see baby Neil, we'll see our hook, we'll see Emma, we'll possibly see Captain Swan's little baby and Henry will finally get to meet his sibling because honestly I can't imagine any way that you could properly end Once Upon a Time without 
about going back to Storybrooke, the place where it all began. Yeah, you don't want to retread on old seasons, but I think Storybrooke is just so symbolic with the show that they couldn't possibly end it in Hyphen Heights the same way they would be able to end it in Storybrooke. And what's by the time the show that likes to make callbacks, references, they like to connect everything. And what better place to connect everything than in Storybrooke. And I really, really hope that at the very, very end of What's Got Time, in the last few seconds, they do the fairy tale ending where the book officially closes and the words, the end, come on screen. It would make me cry so much. And I think it would be a perfect and bittersweet ending. So yeah, that's my theory on how everyone's gonna get the happy endings in season seven. I have seen some people say that they should just end it in What's Got Time with season six, but I am really glad that we got a season seven. Yeah, it may not have felt the same as the first six seasons because it didn't have the main cast, but to leave season six so open like it did, I would have had so many questions about the main cast that would have eaten me alive. I'm gonna miss Once Upon a Time so, so much. And I don't know what's gonna happen to this channel. I'm literally a Once Upon a Time account. All my videos are Once Upon a Time. My username is based off the Enchanted Forest. No show has ever provoked so much passion and thought out of me than what Upon a Time did. For heaven's sake, I wear a swan each day on my necklace. This isn't my last Once Upon a Time video. I will continue to talk about this show until the day I die. I love this show so much and yes, it may be a mess, but it's my mess. It's our mess. I know fandom hates the show like Once Upon a Time, fandom hates Once Upon a Time, but we secretly love it. Well, maybe not so secretly in my case. The show, despite its many plot holes, has changed my life for the better. It's been very impactful on me. I hope the show gets the ending it deserves and I hope we are all happy with it and I hope that we as a fandom get our happy endings because after all even the possibility of a happy ending is a very powerful thing. Stay strong my fellow Wancers and I will see you when 7B returns on March 2nd that will officially mark the start of the end. Thank you for watching and goodbye.